My name is Eric Prasloff. I'm a teacher and I'm a co-leader in my 423 group. I would say my addiction started in college when for the first time I was gifted with my first computer in college, I stumbled upon my roommate uh, who was looking at pornography. And that's when I realized, oh wow, this is something that I could potentially access myself. And I did, and that began a struggle and addiction for me where it ended up meeting a core need for intimacy and connection that I didn't have in my life, uh, although in a counterfeit way. That addiction continued probably for over a decade. And in the church that I was at at the time, there wasn't a culture of vulnerability. I didn't have anyone to talk about that with. It started to be something that was more and more consuming my my thoughts, my sense of worth, and starting to believe that somehow I was dangerous, that I was a pollutant, that I was like a contaminant. I found out about where two, three communities because I'm fortunate to be in the church where that was birthed. I heard more and more about 423 in announcements. One thing that I love about 423 Communities is that it offers me a space to put the mask down. When I first came in, I was amazed to see men who had the courage to be vulnerable. That wasn't something that I was used to seeing. I realized how much grace there was for them in the process and how what they had done or what had happened to them didn't mar their belovedness. And in fact, I loved and respected them even more. And I think it was through that that I started to realize that if that's true for them, then that must be true for me. I feel that I've really been hurt by toxic masculinity and to see a healthier way of being male, um, in a way that leads to connection has been so healing for me. I feel that through 423 Communities, I'm learning to identify lies, lies about who I am, my identity, and lies about who God is. I always thought things about God, but the way that I really lived out my life was something different. So to be able to experience His love and acceptance reflected to me through other men has been incredible. Of our materials, it's been so helpful to learn about trauma um, and how trauma is related to my addictions and the way that I learned to self-medicate. Understanding trauma has helped me to have more compassion for myself and for others who have had gone through trauma. It's been so helpful to learn about a little about neuro neuroscience and how um, that's affected the way that my, my brain seeks out pleasure and dopamine and has given me hope that that can change and that God has shaped our brains to be plastic so that they can be conformed and renewed. So I'm so grateful uh, to 423 for all of those reasons. What I would say to somebody who is on the fence about whether to join or not, it does feel like a death <laughs> to put that mask down and to share what's really going on. But it's so counterintuitive because when we do take that scary, scary step, we do find life. And in being known for all of who we are, there is a connection and a healing um, that we can never experience any other way. When it comes to shame, because I've lived in so much shame and self-loathing, I would tell myself <laughs> that I am not what has happened to me, that I'm not what I've done, that that is not my future or my trajectory, and that in Christ I am loved just as I am, that in Christ I am a new creation. As far as what I would tell pastors or churches, every once in a while towards the end of a service, our pastor will ask people to gather up in small groups and pray for each other. I remember when, you know, somebody that was next to me who I never met before, you know, just said, you know, I need prayer for addiction. 
And I just remember how struck I was by that. And I love that ministries like 423 Communities is making church a safer place for everybody. That when people know that Jesus is there for them for things like addiction, sexual addiction, things that often haven't been talked about that much, and a, and a culture where people can start to be more real with each other. Why wouldn't a church want that?